Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the William Nix Center here on the campus of Prairie View and M University. It is going to be an incredible afternoon here in the Nix Center. I've got my mixer on the other side, too high, too low. Folks, it's going to be incredible here in the William Nix Center as the Panthers get ready to take on the Tigers of Texas Southern University. Did you do that? Wow, you're incredible. I want to send a shout out to uh, Media Blitz. Media Blitz, Crystal Edwards and her entire family, Christina and Erica. I got your baby with me. She is going to be a superstar. We're just so very, very fortunate uh, to have our family here. Check out the graphic video. We're going to let you check this video out here up top. Oh, let's see. Can we get it? Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, check the graphic out up there. This is the Prairie View and them video. The uh, quality on my page is uh, not that good. That's okay. We'll have it next time. Great game on tap, ladies and gentlemen. People were outside waiting to get in at 1 o'clock as we got this game underway. If you are on the way to the game or if you know somebody that is on the way to the game, all they have to do is go to our preview and the YouTube page. Come to our YouTube page. You can hear the game until you get here. And it is going to be a good one as we really start to get this one underway. Sending shouts out to everybody who is watching. Share, 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 share this video so that uh, we can get things going. Starting for the Texas Southern University Tigers, a 5'7 junior from Dallas, Texas. Naya Harmon, starting at forward, a sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland. Jada Belton, starting at forward, a freshman from Galicia, Spain. Greta Galban. Uh, Alyssa Knight is a junior from Cedar Park, Texas. She'll get to start at the guard. And at the forward slash center is going to be a junior from Oklahoma City. Jordan Turner, the head coach, Bernita Ski. Her assistants, Mercedes Brooks, India Elliott, and Daniel Elliott. Well, the Lady Panthers coming out with their starters. Uh, the impact player of the week, ladies and gentlemen, from the Southwestern Athletic Conference is Ryan Payne, man. Averaged 22 points per game, four rebounds, four total steals, and a block. She was the catalyst that got it done on Monday night against Alabama A&M, Ryan Payne, the transfer from LSU. Man, I tell you, she's fun to watch. And they've inserted Waddle, a junior. Waddle, man, came on by storm from Fort Worth, Texas. She's doing a great job out there. And then also Jessica Soders and Desiree Lewis, the starters. They've been here forever. Folks, we've got to turn it off now. Yes, ma'am. We've got to turn it off here and just give you some audio here in the William Nix Center. Ten minutes on the clock and we're ready to go raymond holly g boom uh helping us out with uh, our video streaming also uh, mia greer doing a great job i'm just so excited to have you here with me mia i finally got a new lindsey leverett if you want to call it that hey all video production done by woodlawn entertainment james crenshaw the founder and ceo they do all kinds of stuff, television production, sports production, sports broadcast, production, live, event, live events, weddings, commercial video design, video editing, editing. Also, uh, I'm going to throw that one in, voiceovers, and a pretty good old school DJ in Charles Porter. Ten minutes on the clock. We're about to get this one underway, man. At center court, you've got Waddle along with Turner. Is that Water and Turner? No, that's Waddle and Belton, Jada Belton. Getting ready to kick it off here in the Baby Dome. And we started. Payne gets it quick. Brings it up the right side. Takes it from 20. Hits the side of the iron. No good. Waddle coming over Belton, but can't put it down. And we're going back the other way. Here comes Galbon. Galbon tries to shoot it in quickly to Belton. Can't get it in there. Payne will go back up and throw it off the glass. And Roberson. Getting fouled from behind, folks. Again, the starters for the Panthers, Roberson, Payne, Waddle, Soders, and Lewis on the other side of the court. It's Turner, Knight, Galvan, Belton, and Harmon for Texas Southern. Great job by Coach Sandy Pugh and her staff, Danny Evans, David Frank, Jeanette Jackson, Rhonda Jackson. 
all putting this team together this year, working hard after a lot of diversity, injuries, and just all kinds of stuff going on. But they've got it together now. And here we go. Left side with it. Soders, or pardon me, Lewis, at the elbow, backing it out, getting it away in the corner. The Soders, he shoots it up for three, hits the side of the iron. No good. We're going back the other way, snatching it down. It's going to be Alicia Knight. Knight to Galvan, and we'll slowly walk it up. Patience there is uh, what Coach Skeet told her young ladies. Let's guard the ball, protect the ball, and be patient as Belton goes towards the bucket from the right side. Belton trying to tip it over to Alicia Knight, the junior from Cedar Park. Can't get her, get it to her. And the Panthers will have it again. We're scoreless here in the first quarter. Scoreless here in the first quarter. Eight minutes, 56 seconds left to play. Up top, Payne thought about the three steps inside. Oh, man, gets a birdie, puts it up from 20. It's the back of the iron, no good. Belton comes down with it. Gulban will have it at the point, and we'll go back the other way. Roberson bothering her, snatches it away, steals it, gets it back. Roberson now gets it into the hands of Payne. Payne thought about throwing it down. Oh, here comes Waddle trailing. Waddle turns, spins with the left hand, puts it off the glass. Yes, the Panthers. Get on the board, 2 nothing. You better get here early, folks, to see the crowd building out there outside the Baby Dome. Left side, way cross court tonight. Like thought about it. Roberson coming with the quick hands, knocks it away. And the Tigers will have it with 23 seconds on the shot clock. The Tigers average six steals per game. Built and traveling, Waddle all over, and she puts it up for two. Belton leading all of the Texas Southern Tigers. Well, tied with uh, Lawson. Lawson's not out there. Lawson and Belton with 12 apiece. And with the running jumper off the backboard, the Panthers, was that Lewis? Yeah, Lewis with the point, knocking it away. The Panthers with that pesky defense that uh, got them where they are last week. And a nice three-point shot. Coming on the left side, there from Alicia Knight from Cedar Park, Texas. Knight, pretty darn good. The uh, Tigers shooting 26% from the three-point range. Knight, not many. 33%, two of six. Left side, Roberson stops, 15. Belton with the long arms, blocks it. And we'll go back the other way. Right side with it now. Is Alicia Knight. Knight gets it back over to Gall Bottom off the bench. Here comes Hutch. Shot is no good. The Panthers come down with it. Here comes Payne on the fast break. Stop spot. Shoots it up from 20. Now she's getting that touch, ladies and gentlemen. Payne starting to feel that touch. Gerald Smith getting ready to check in. The senior, pardon me, yeah, from Miramar, Florida, sending shouts out to the Smith family. Good hand by Soders. Almost knocks it away. 6.35 left to play. Here we go down now to the right side. Wide open. Three-point shot. Deep throw from Naya Harmon, the junior from Dallas, Texas. She'll hit the back of the iron and skeet. Wants a timeout, man. The Panthers now on top by only one, 6-7. We've got to get it going here. The Panthers starting to feel their lather. It'll be uh, not too soon until they start really pulling away. Stick around. We'll take a break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a break and come back with more exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View and M Panther Sports Network. Hey, John. What made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space. 
that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. Welcome back to the William Nix Center. This February 7th at 7 o'clock p.m., the National Signing Day for Prairie View and the University and the entire country will occur at the – well, not for the entire country. I don't think the entire country will be there, James, but all the Panther fans will be there. That's at 1110 West Airport in Stafford, Texas, the Southside Sports Club. Tickets on sale right now. Just go to the portal, go to tickets, and you can get your tickets there right now. Also, we'll talk about season tickets coming up here pretty soon. The Panthers with it on the left side. Joe DeBowen inserted in the game. The Panthers tied in the paint at four apiece, but the uh, Tigers of Texas Southern have turned the ball over three times. 5.52 left to play here in the first. The Panthers down one, seven, six. Gerald Smith has been inserted along with Amari Williams. We talked about Williams and her ability to be a huge target. She's a have a huge target there. And we'll come back down on the right side. Also checking in for Texas Southern University is Deja Holmes, the junior from Fresno, California, and Amani Morris, the freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas. Here we come, left side. Holmes with uh, some good dribbling. Gets around Lewis, takes it baseline, kicks it left side, gives it over tonight. Great defense by the Panthers. Good, forceful, menacing defense by the Panthers. Shot clock violation, and we'll go back the other way. For those of you watching here on Splendid Media Live, go to our our YouTube page, to the Prairie View and them YouTube page. I'm not trying to get my, my viewers out of there. I'm just trying to be fair. Go to the YouTube page if you want to watch it and, and listen at the same time. If you're driving, just listen. Go to YouTube, turn it on. And just listening, and if you're uh, getting here, you better get here pretty quick. It is filling up with only the first quarter here of the women's game. Left side now with it, Bowden. Bowen, rather, gets it over now to Smith off the glass. She'll be fouled and go to the line. Bowen from Creed, Illinois, snuck in on me. Man, she has been playing some really, really quality minutes. As uh, one of my favorites gets in, my homegirl. Hey, baby. Michaela Hutchinson from New Orleans, Louisiana. Good play there by Lewis to give her a break. Smith will be at the charity stripe shooting free throws. The Panthers, as a team, uh, decent as a team. They had a great showing on last week. But as a team, the Lady Panthers, wait a minute, let me get it together here, Charles, where it's at. Uh, the Lady Panthers, and they're free throwing. Ah, here we go. Lady Panthers doing pretty good as a team, 70% as a, a team they hit 11 they hit 12 free throws uh, on 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 monday and the average 11.5 free throws 11.5 made free free throws per game the panthers now take the lead 8-7 here come the tigers good defense there by jada bowen and it will stay down on the tiger side of the ball shamari phillips with it couldn't hold on to it. The junior from Winter Haven, Florida. Out of bounds with it now is Holmes, and Galban will get it. Pains on her like a glove. Galban takes it right, back up top with it. Here comes Turner, has it knocked away. Now here come the Panthers. Hutch slows it up at the elbow, over the pain. Wide open for three, looks good. Payao! Oh, man, she's heating up, ladies and gentlemen. She's heating up. 4.38 left to play. 11-7 to score. Jerome Barber and my teammate Lynn Bradford is listening to exciting Panther sports. What's going on, guys? Back up top right side. Galban will have it. Looking in the corner for Turner. She wants it. They'll give it up, though, in the middle to Turner. And now left side with it. Here comes Holmes, and Holmes will put it in for three. Good shot. 11-10. The Panthers still lead. Right side. Hutch steps back. Puts it in from 20. Oh, man. The Panthers are hot tonight. Great shot by Hutchinson. 
They felt that one down over there in Algiers. Here we go, back right side, Jordan Turner. Coast to coast, off the backboard, no good. Smith can't hold on to it. Galban gets on the floor for it. Jump ball, it'll stay down here with the Tigers. And checking in for Texas Southern, Naya Harmon will come back in along with Jada Belton. Some quality minutes there for Amani Turner. She's just a freshman, six foot three, out of Cedar Hills, Texas, and Galban will get a breather. They're going to move Phillips over to the point. Or either, or they'll keep uh, Harmon at the point. Quick shot in the corner. Holmes for three. Three thirty-five left to play. We're tied at 13 here in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Smith has it on the left elbow. Wants to work on Turner. Gets it back up top now to Hutchinson. Hutchinson right side to Bowen. Oh, man, great move by Lewis. Lewis has it knocked away, but good position by Lewis under the bucket. An even better job of Turner coming over and defending the wide open shot. Belton tried to get over there with the long arms. But uh, Turner with the good defense. Bowen throws it back up. Payne back out to Bowen. She'll take it baseline. Bowen shoots it in. Oh, tries to get it in to Williams. Bad pass. We got to do better with that. A long two step. Jada Bowen. And she'll put it in for two. The Tigers up by two, 15-13. It's going to be a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. Lewis, left elbow, drops back, in trouble, kicks it in the corner. Wide open was Hutchinson. Hutchinson down low, and Smith with the charging violation. That time, Smith. Looking at the replay, Smith leaned in with the shoulder. Lewis and Soders. Is it Soders? No, Lewis, Bowden, and Waddle all in now for the Panthers. Bowen on the floor with Belton after the almost, well, I guess you can't call it an almost steal. An almost stolen away there by Bowen with some good defense, man. The Lady Panthers really starting to gel at the right time. Hutchinson will take it out. Robe wants it, or J-Rob as she's called. Roberson should get it back on the left wing. Looking down low, trying to get it to Waddle. She wants it. Waddle back up top now. They'll give it over to Williams. Maya Williams, who has checked in. A sophomore from Cooper City, Florida. Very quick, shifty guard. Here comes Turner, or Amani Morris, pardon me, off the bench for Texas Southern. 2.26 left to play here in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers down by two to the Tigers of Texas Southern University here in the William Nick Center. Waddle puts it up. No. Knocked out of bounds. The Panthers will have it. Good defense by the Tigers. Or, pardon me, yeah, by the Tigers. And the Panthers, I tell you, that Miss Thurston is working her tail off today, isn't she, guys? She's all over the place. It shirt's a little tight, but that's okay. She gave me the three. I needed, I needed the four X. They, they run small. They run small. We're going to talk about our friends over at Luxury Goods who did this these shirts. They do a lot of stuff for Prairie View. Roberson now takes it left side, gets it blocked. Lewis gets the rebound, puts it back up, and she's going to be fouled by Belton. Is that five? Yeah. They'll give that one to Belton. That's going to be a second personal. Belton, nope, that's her first. That one will be on the shop. Lewis to shoot a couple of free throws. For the Panthers, Lewis, not so bad. Well, I got two for Texas Southern. You don't need both of those. First shot is away. No good. Second shot is away. It's good. The Panthers now tied up at 15. Checking back into the game for the Tigers is number 15, Alyssa Knight. Sorry, guys. 
There we go. Right side coming all the way down with a turnaround jumper is built and she gets her own rebound, puts it back up. It's off the glass. No. Roberson in the land of the Giants snatches it down and gets it out to Hutch. And we're going back the other way. Hutch in the clutch. We'll snatch it down and get it across the timeline here. Here comes Hutch. Oh man, nice move. Over the shoulders now, left side and at the elbow. Down low. Hutch with another good move. Turn around, spin, gets one on her feet, puts it up. Oh, and she's blocked. Has it blocked, but a good move by Hutchinson. Man, way to put it back up. And streaking down the left side, there's going to be Nia Harmon. Harmon with it now. Back to Belton. Over back to Harmon for three. Looks good. Hits the side of the iron. No. A mad scuffle for it. Morris almost has it. Comes up with it. Gives it back right side. Jump ball. No, they're going to give that one. They're going to give a foul over to Hutchinson. Looked like all ball. Trying to look. Here's the replay. Here's the shot off the back of the iron. Well, we had to get back out there. That's going to see Deja Holmes, the junior from Fresno, California, get to the charity stripe. 24 of 31, a 74% free throw shooter. Looking forward to uh, the halftime show. Bubba McDowell, who has been uh, just be uh, just named the Heritage. Bowl Classic head coach will uh, <laughs> be the head coach instead of Willie Simmons. So they're giving uh, Belton the business. She missed everything. Pardon me. They're giving uh, Holmes the business. The Panther fans, she missed everything that time on the first free throw air ball. And uh, they're loving it. Checking in for the Panthers. LaFadra Green, Jr. from Monroe, Louisiana. They got some. Good red beans and rice in a corner store there in Monroe, Louisiana. You ever been to Monroe? No, no Monroe. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get my sidekick here involved. Sending shouts out again to our friends over at uh, what is it, Catfish Station? What is it? Brought us some uh, Catfish Corner. Uncle Boo's Catfish Corner, always a campus favorite. I don't know, they're new. We're gonna check them out. Catfish, shrimp, a soul burger. Honey hot wings, fried okra, tacos, chicken strips, and I might try those. We're gonna have to try that. They're, they're they're trying to become uh, sponsors of Splendid Media. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that they get there, folks. If you're coming down, they'll be down on the left hand side of University Drive, over by Sandra Bland Park. Right side with it is Holmes. Holmes will put it up from the free throw line. Oh, rattles in and out, no good. And is that 24 or 26? The jerseys are very. Very dark. It's 25. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Okay, that, that's Turner. Pardon me, folks. Jordan Turner, the junior from Oklahoma City. Yeah. 110 left to play. The Panthers down by one. Here comes Lewis there on the right side. In the corner. Payne got a birdie. Stops from 15. Left hand. Side of the iron. No good. Goes out of bounds off the Tigers. Jordan. And with a minute left, there's 20 seconds on the shot clock. Soders. All the way up top gets it to Lewis. Man, in dangers of that five seconds, that three seconds. Here we go. Williams up top. Working on Harmon. Brings it right side. Gives it over now to Lewis. Lewis down low. Has it knocked away. Oh, and the Panthers turn it over with 40 seconds left to play. Left side. Here we come. Knight has it blocked by Soders. And we're going back the other way. Great pass on the fast break over to Lewis from the left side. Oh, Lewis is hammered from behind, but great block by Soders to start it off. Here's the shot, folks. If we look at the replay, here's the shot. Soders with a beautiful block gets it into the hands now of Hutchinson. Hutchinson beat up from behind and will go to the charity stripe for free throws. Bowen will come back in for some speed, but great turn of it. Of events, great job by Soders, and a great heads-up play. Soders' uh, parents and grandparents are here today. Can't wait to go up and meet them. And they're up there cheering like uh, they're in the Super Bowl. You're gonna watch the Super Bowl next weekend. Uh, they're uh, against Mia? the 49ers and the Chiefs. The 49ers and the Chiefs. Who you pick? 
Um, the Chiefs. The Chiefs? You like Patrick Mahomes? No. Me neither. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. He's a great quarterback. He's going to – do you think Patrick Holmes is going to be the new Tom Brady? Mm, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Okay. Shout out way it's good. And now the Panthers will go up by one, 17-16 with 31 seconds left to play. Here come the Tigers. Oh, Sounders with another steal. Sounders in trouble. Gets it, kicks it out to Bowen and has it knocked away. They get it in the goal bond. 21 seconds left to play. Great defense by the Panthers. Here we go right side. Harmon bringing it over and slowing it down. Harmon coming left side. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Bowen on her like a glove. Coming on the right side. Bowen on with the defense. Harmon travels, puts it up. And a jump ball should go to the Panthers with 2.7 seconds left to play. Man, watch Bowen with this gripping defense. Coming around the left side. Bowen fights through it, fights through the pick. Great defense, and then Lewis comes over and gives her some help, and Lewis throws it away. No, and the foul, golly gee, Willikers from behind. Gold Bond goes up. Bowen with a silly foul there. Bowen knows better than that. And because she's played so well, she doesn't get a huge chew from Sandy Pugh. She just gets a little nibble. Now, you know better than that. Don't do it no more. 17, 16, Pew real calm, cool, and collected. Never really see her get uh, really, really upset. Dave Frank flanking her to the left. Sitting there keeping her cool, calm, and collected. Danny Evans, of course, the assistant coach for the Lady Panthers. Down waiting and... Talking with the big persons. Williams trying to keep her in tune. Shadows away. No good. 17 16. The Panthers up one with 4.4 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. That's going to do it for the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. 17 16 to score. Man, what a game. What a first quarter. This is going to be a good one. Worth the price of the ticket, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more exciting as our basketball. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. by 117-16. Great play in the first quarter. Man, pretty even though. Eight turnovers 
beaten by the Texas Southern Tigers. They averaged 17 turnovers per game. The Panthers with six. Well, the Panthers averaging 17 turnovers per game. The Tigers averaged 20 turnovers per game. Not uh, really anybody in foul trouble. Uh, one for Jay the Bolt. Uh, Belton, one for Turner, one on Alyssa Knight, one for, and one for Middleton. Who can't hear us? We're having some audio issues. Okay. Uh, I want to send a shout out to DeAndre Cooper, Prairie View and m superstar. Okay. Here comes Bowen. All right, folks. Nobody in foul trouble, really. Nobody in foul trouble for the Panthers uh, except uh, Roberson with two. Wait a minute. This can't be wrong. Uh, two. Nope. Where it's at. It can't be right. Payne hits another one for two. Well, that's got to be right. Um, Lewis can't have three fouls. Left side, wide open, Knight for three. No, hits the side of the iron, no good. It's knocked away, and here comes Belton. Out to Bowen, pardon me. Bowen brings it left, 19-16. The Panthers up by three on the three-pointer by Prane. Here we go, right side, Lewis with it. Backing it out, looking for Waddle. Waddle's going to hang around and work on Belton. Soders will get it. 32. Foul called on Lewis to go through the pick. Oh, that's that's not a well. We'll have. I wish we could pull that one back and let you see that one for yourself, folks. Gee whiz. Smith will get up off the bench for the Panthers and get ready to get in. Here come the Tigers on the drive, and the Panthers will get it back. Soders out to Payne. Payne at the top of the key. She's on fire. Payne looking left. Hutchinson goes right. Lewis from the right wing. Looking down low. Trying to get it back up to Hutchinson. She's in trouble. Now throws it over to Waddle. Waddle on the break. Working on Belton off the glass. Oh, in and out. Great shot by Belton, man. I mean, pardon me, by Waddle on Belton. The turnaround. Got her, got her moving forward. Turned around. Spin, stop, and put it off the glass. Lewis. Lewis said, yeah, uh, they're talking about the previous play. Pew, that is, and, and Lewis, they don't like it at all. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 8.29 left to play. The officials, they're having a chat. Hold on. The is uh, going and uh, giving an explanation over to Vernet Skeet. Man, again, congratulations to Ryan Payne. The Southwestern Athletic Conference Impact Player of the Week. We'll talk about it in a minute. There's Payne again. Puts it in for 15. 8.21 left to play. 21-16. The Panthers starting to get some lather now. Here we go. Left side with it. In the corner. Belton. Calling for it. And Holmes is going to be fouled. Roberson will get her on the floor. The Panthers with two team fouls. The Tigers with none. Five team fouls with shooting the bonus. Here we go. Right side in the homes. Back left side getting it now tonight. Knight looking left. Turner has it and wants to work. Oh, oh man. Gets Smith on the crossover. Now out to Belton. Great job. Good looking play there by the Tigers of Texas Southern. 21-18 the score. Coming up, uh, folks, right before the men's game, we're going to talk to uh, our athletic director, Anton Goff. Waddle with the turnaround off the glass. It's easy. Lovely. Good job by the Panthers. They keep answering. Belton gets it. Almost loses it. It's travels no call. Turner kicks it to Knight. Knight has it blocked. But uh, Payne gets some body with it. And she's going to pick up her second personal foul. 
7.32 left to play. Here in the second quarter, checking in for the Tigers, Amani Morris, a freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas. Belton will get a break. Knight shooting free throws. Shot is where it's good. Folks, if you want to get the live stats, just go to our website, www.pvpanthers.com. Uh, go on that website and just uh, just making sure here. Second shot is away. Skip National Signing Day. Just hit continue to home. And then uh, down there on the right, you'll see our schedule of events. You'll see the uh, Purview TSU icon live. Click those three dots on the right side. It'll give you a drop-down box. Hit the three parallel lines. It'll give you the live stats. Right side with it now. Hutchinson on the dribble drive. Puts it in. Yeah. And one. I like it. 25-19 the score. Great job. Great drive. That time by Michaela Hutchinson coming from the right side for the Panthers. The senior from New Orleans, Louisiana. Man, need to have her back one more year. 25-19 the score. Sending shouts out to Janet Stipido. Tell my boy Frank I said hey up in there in San Antonio and all the guys. Mike Gunner, Andre Cooper, Jerome Barber, Lynn Bradford, my teammate, Tania Estelle, Chili Davis, Deidre Lewis, D.D., uh, Anthony Allen, Anthony Walton, uh, Silas Morris, Vincent Hupp are all watching on the Splendid Network. Turnaround jumper for Morris, and they're going to throw it out to Payne. Payne coming right side, finds an open Roberson with the dribble drive, got caught on the baseline, kicks it out now to Lewis, back out to Payne. We've got plenty of time, 20 seconds on the shot clock now now. Well, 16. Payne. Coming left, back up top to Smith. Right side gets it over now to Hutchinson. Hutchinson coming right, brings it back left. With the split, loses it, and traveling violation. Uh, some perspiration on the court. You need to wipe that up. She slipped. Six thirty-three. Left to play. Sending shouts out to Erica. Erica, I got a winner. 6.33. The live stats, yeah, the uh, official getting that perspiration up. I know what I'm doing, don't I? You think? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, Maya? Just a little bit. Now, uh, what's your major, Maya? Um, Accounting. Accounting. You're going to be, so you're pretty good with math, huh? Yeah, I would say that. Well, you better be, <laughs> especially if you're going to be accounting with my money. 6.30 left to play. Here we come back right side. Lawson, uh, pardon me, Holmes has it. Skip down. Morris, turn around. Oh, jumper in and out. No good. Wow. The rims are not friendly to the Tigers here in the William Nick Center. Payne coming left side, throwing it down on the right block. Lewis has it. Was trying to find the trailing Waddle. Waddle gets it in. Roberson chases it down. Puts it up from five. Hits the side of the iron and rolls in for her. Jada Roberson. All the way from Indianapolis, Indiana. Putting it in for two. Want to send a shout out to her family down there in Indy. Up top with it. Holmes. Brings it left. Here comes Williams off the bench. Good job of dribbling. Oh, man. Holmes, man. Took them to the hoop. Holmes for two. Deja Holmes. The junior from Fresno, California. Belton back up off the bench for the Tigers. 28-21, folks. Sorry about that. 28-21, Lewis gets it on the right elbow. Comes right, comes left. Turns. Looking for some help. Gives it over to Payne. Payne finds a hole. Shoots it up from five. It's the back of the iron. No good. Coming down with it is Morris. Morris falls. And Roberson gets it back up. And... Morris gets up, uh, kind of rolls pain off of her. Wow, that's going to be an interesting uh, replay there. Morris kind of just laying on top of Payne. Payne tries to get up and just rolls Morris. Morris trying not to get over. And Morris, can you see it there, folks? Morris, as Payne tries to get up. Oh, the, I don't know, Smith of Wood. Come out. 
and they'll they'll flag Morris for the foul. Mor Morris will come and said, I don't know. I think both ladies were trying to figure out what the other one was going to do. What you want to do? I don't know. What you want to do? That, that's kind of how that was going. Here comes Soders in for Hutch. Michaela Hutchinson, man, I tell you, she can play. I wish we had 10 of her. Go down to New Orleans and go get us a pole boy. Those little bit of shrimp on it. Not shrimps. Shrimp. Shrimp is plural. Stewie Griffin. 504 left to play. 28 27. 28 27. The Panthers on top. Roberson at the elbow with a double pump off the glass. No. And it's knocked out of bounds by Belton. Belton can't snatch it in. Roberson almost uh, started to tip it. But it was no good. Roberson to take it out for the Panthers. Looking for Soders. Roberson there just throws it way up to Payne. Oh, man, I thought Payne was going to stop for a three-pointer. Here comes Payne with the dribble drive. Has it blocked by Belton, but gets it over to Williams. And Williams puts it off the glass for two, and she likes it. And the foul is going to be called on the Texas Southern University Tigers. Jada Belton, that's three. Is that three on Belton, number three? Where it's five? Oh, that's two. Two? Okay. Burnett over there fussing at the official. No shot. No shot, but it's going to be a foul. Yes, yeah, so it's not going to be an and one. That's what the question was. She hit the shot, and I guess the officials thought it was going to be an and one. It's not an and one. Folks, coming up at halftime, we're going to go back to our studios, pay some bills. We'll come back and let you little see a little of the halftime show. We'll go back, pay some more bills, and then come back. And hopefully talk to head football coach Bubba McDowell as National Signing Day is upon us, February the 7th. Um, from what I understand, the Panther faithful will be pleasantly pleased with the uh, recruiting done at Prairie View and Dem. All right. Well, here we go. Back to live action. 4.52 left to play. Williams. Trying to establish position. That's not her fault, coach. You, uh, gee whiz. That is really the, the fans don't like it any, and I don't like it either. That's really not a happy call. Well, the Texas Southern faithful are here, folks. If you're planning to get here for the men's game, you better hurry. Because it's not even halftime of the women's game, and we're I don't know, Mia, are we three fourths full or what do we what do you think? I feel like we're almost full at capacity. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, golly gee. Better get here soon. Panthers trying to get fired up here. Now the Panthers on the trap. They get it across in the corner. Holmes wide open thinking about taking it on the baseline. Holmes stops, puts it from 15. Oh, it rolls in and creeps for a wing and a prayer, 28-23. The Panthers up by five on the Tigers of Texas Southern. Here we go back now with Payne working it to Lewis. Lewis finds a hole, puts it back up. Williams gets the rim. Oh, the rebound, no call. Foul. Lewis gets it back, puts it back off the rim. Foul, no call. And clearing it out is Turner. Turner, left side, wide open for three. Knight, no. Soders gets it into the hands of Payne, and here we go back the other way. Payne now calling. Left side for the pick from Williams. There we go. Setting it now. Here she goes in the corner. Soders on the baseline. Payne will say, I'll take it from the elbow. Yeah, that's easy peasy. I'll take that one. And the Panthers go back up by seven. 30 to 23. Holmes puts it back up again. The rebound. Turner. Oh, pardon me. That's a uh, 15 night comes down with it and kicks it back up at top on the right side. Here comes Harmon. Harmon now working right. Puts it up from three-point range. Yeah, that's nasty. Nope. Had a foot on the line. Good shot. 30-25 the score. Galban checking in. Soders for three. Man, almost jumped out of there. Good defense by Roberson. Roberson right in the mix of things. And here comes Waddle Smith and Bowen. For the Panthers, Galban will check in with Phillips. 
for Texas Southern. And here we go, left side. Payne wide open from five, hits the side of the end, rolls off no good. A whistle. And that one's going to go against Turner. Is at 20? They'll give that one to Turner on the floor. Hutchinson will come in. Soders will get a break. 30 25 to score. Is Soders coming off, or is Soders just getting uh, some instructions? Little instructions. Belton up off the bench. Waddle from the charity stripe. First shot is away. It's good. Galban will go left now. Try to block Payne out. 31-25 the score. Sending shouts out to Dallas, Texas, to Latoya and Donna. Itchy's parents. We'll talk about them in just a moment. Waddle shot is away. Back on the iron, no good. Coming down with it is Knight. And Turner will get it across the timeline. Down to three minutes. Turner working on Bowen. Gets it back out to Galban. And now Payne all on her. Galban, right side, back to Knight. She thought about the three-pointer. Steps inside. Now gets it, loses the ball. It's going out of bounds. Off the foot of Lewis. No, that's not Lewis. That's Smith. Off the foot of Smith. And uh, timeout on the court. Is this uh, finally? Do we get immediate timeout? Fast and furious action going on here in the... Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers are on top of the Tigers of Texas Southern, 31 to 25. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. Panther Nation, this is your athletic director. Anton Gall. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the importance of giving. Whether your gift is big or small, it's important to our student athlete success. Your donation will help us increase our Panther experience for our student athletes. It will increase our competitive excellence as well as our academic excellence. So please join me in visiting pvpanthers.com and click on the Give tab because this is where champions are built. Thank you. At Prairie View A&M University, Excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and changemakers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Welcome back to the William Nick Center, ladies and gentlemen. 31 to 25 to score. Six-point lead, 247. Left to play, and man, the fans are getting fired up. Yep. 240 left to play. 31-27, the Panthers with it. Well, where'd that extra point come from, Charles? It's up by seven, I thought. The three-pointer, they gave it three points on that last shot. Bowen. Over to Payne. Now Payne coming around the curl. Payne with a double pump from the charity strike. No. Bowen with a good rebound. And Hutchinson knocks it away but gets her with him some shoulder. And that will be four team fouls on the Prairie View Panthers. One more. And we'll be in the penalty. 31 to 27. Four point edge. Here comes Morris off the bench. The freshman. And Soders will return for the Panthers. 12 to 10 in the paint. Two more for the Tigers. The uh, Panthers and the Tigers with nine turnovers apiece. 42% in this first half and 33% in this first half 
for the Tigers and Panthers respectively. 42 for the Tigers, 33 for the Panthers. At the charity stripe, three, 33 percent. The uh, Tigers not doing real well. The Panthers, 89 percent from the charity stripe. Down to two minutes and 18 seconds left to play. 31-29. Shots were away. They were good. Bowen will have it at the top of the key. Bowen kicks it right side over the pain. Pain looking down low. And will throw it to Waddle. Waddle back to Payne. Smith coming right side. Payne back over to Smith. Now Smith now with four seconds on the shot clock. We've got to do something. Bowen's got to shoot it. Bowen shoots it up. Hits the front of the iron. No good. And Belton knocks it away. And the Panthers get a fresh 20. Good defense by the Panthers. Deja Holmes will check in for Texas Southern. Panthers will leave their five. Payne right inside the elbow for an easy peasy 15 footer. It's good. Belton trying to get it across the timeline, does trying to find some help. Minute 33. Holmes comes left side. Holmes throwing it down low. Belton gets it, turns, twists, puts it high off the backboard. No good. And the Panthers come down with it. Smith back to Bowen. And will come down right side. Bowen. Back to Smith. Minute 13 left to play here in the first half. Soders gets it right side. Comes her off the curl. Soders puts it up. And she's going to be fouled by Belton. That'll be three. And Soders will go to the bench. Morris is going to have to get up. Or will they put Tur Turner will get up. And Belton's going to have to sit with three. What, they give that to what? 15. Oh, wow, that's a bailout. 15. <laughs> Mia says, I know a little bit about basketball, and I think that's what you call a bailout. Huh? That's going to send Soders to the charity stripe. Four free throws. Soders, pretty good. Phaedra Green will get up off the bench. The Panthers. Uh, shooting 88.9% from the charity strap. Hopefully I don't jinx them there, right? They only missed one. 89.9%. Here comes Soder's shot is away. I didn't. It's good. Williams will check in for Pew. Maya Williams, sophomore from Cooper City, Florida. If you hear me, shout amen. Second shot is away. No good. Only two missed free throws for the Panthers tonight. And Holmes will come down the left side or under a minute and working on uh, Soders. Soders on her like some glue. Puts it up. Oh, and one. Oh, my goodness. And Holmes gets the continuation and the foul off of Williams. Here it comes. Right side, left side there on your screen. And Soders getting called with a foul. They gave that one to Williams. Soders came over to help. But they gave the, the foul to, to Maya Williams. Shot is away. No good. No three-point play. Frederick Green with the rebound. Green gets now out to pain. 34-31, a three-point edge. 48 seconds left to play. They need to start the clock there. Left side, pain. To Soders. Soders thought about the three. Kicks it over to Smith. Smith steps inside. Soders on the drive. No, it's Smith. She'll put it back off the glass. Soders went in for the pass, but Smith said, I got her on my hip, coach. And she puts it in for two. 36-31 the score here in the William Nick Center. Uh, a violation against Texas Southern. Hutchinson off the bench. Green to have a seat. Here comes Williams. Williams coming up right. Gives it now to Smith. Seven seconds on the clock. Five seconds on the shot clock. 
Smith trying to get it to Soders on the travel drive from two. Off the glass. No. Oh, my goodness. The Panthers couldn't capitalize there on that last play, man. I tell you, it's hot and heavy here in the William Nick Center. 36-31 the score. The score. We'll go to our studios for halftime and come back with an exhilarating, an exhilarating, a stupendous, tremendous second half. Right here from the baby dog. Stick around. My empire, and yes, I call a shot. I am the umpire. I sprinkle holy water upon the vampire. In this very moment, I'm king. In this very moment, I slay Goliath with the sling. This very moment, I bring. Put it on. Hey, John, what made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you can take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Panther Nation, this is your athletic director, Anton Gaw. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the importance of giving. Whether your gift is big or small, it's important to our student-athlete success. Your donation will help us increase our Panther experience for our student-athletes. It will increase our competitive excellence as well as our academic excellence. So please join me in visiting pvpanthers.com and click on the Give tab because this is where champions are built. Thank you. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here.
way back. Back into time.
With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. Hey, Don, what made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The keyword being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Welcome back to the William Nix Lady Center, ladies and gentlemen. 2.55 until we get the second half underway. Man, some interesting statistics. First thing that just really jumps out to me is the Prairie View and the University Lady Panther free throw percentage at 81%. Lady Panthers are shooting 81% from the charity stripe. Four, uh, nine of 11. Four of nine are the Texas Southern Lady Tigers to shoot 44% from the charity stripe. For the first half, the Tigers shot 41%. The Panthers, 40% for the game. 13 of 22 for the Panthers. 12 of 29 for the Tigers of Texas Southern. Only a five-point lead here. The disparity, uh, just a couple of points. Points in the paint, 16 points for the Tigers. 14, or 12 rather, for the Panthers. We've got to do a better job turning the ball over. We're pretty even, 10 and 9. 10 for the Tigers, 9 for the Panthers, but the Panthers are losing the rebounding war by two, 17, 15. We need a couple of more rebounds along uh, with our, of course, really tenacious defense. We've been really doing well with the defense, and uh, I think if we keep that defensive press up, we'll be real, we'll be okay down the stretch. Four of nine and nine of 11 from the three point range are the uh, Panthers. Four of nine for the Tigers and nine of 11. Oh, that's free throws, pardon me. One of three for the Panthers, one of three. Folks, don't forget, coming up on the 7th of February, ladies and gentlemen, ninth National Signing Day uh, at for Prairie View University at the Southside Sporting Club, 1110 West Airport Boulevard, Stafford, Texas, if you uh, need to get some tickets, there is the URL. If you're looking on on our stream on YouTube, just go ahead and hit that, that URL on the stream, or you can just go to our ticket booth, go to Preview Indium Athletics, go to tickets, 
and drop down and put it in there. Got a full week of exciting Panther sports going on this week and exciting Panther sports. Of course, this Monday we will pay, take on the Tigers. Pardon me. This Monday we'll take on the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pie Bluff. Tomorrow the bowling team is in Duberville, Mississippi in the uh, SWAC East Roundup. It's an East Roundup. And then the tennis team is going to be uh, right here at Prairie View Indian University as they take on Incarnate Word tomorrow. The men will start at 10 o'clock. The women will also start at 10 o'clock. Dual, dual times, I can't see. No. And also uh, on Monday, Pine Bluff comes to town for the makeup game during the freeze. Man, it's going to be hot and heavy in here as we get ready to start the second half. Man, the Panthers taking on the Golden Lions of the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Again, fantastic job by our video crew, Woodlawn Entertainment. James Crenshaw, got it going on, folks. We do all kinds of stuff for you. TV production, sports broadcast, production live events, weddings, commercial video design, videography, and editing. For more information, just hit them on, the, on their email address. You can call James if you want, 469 Five four five zero seven nine two. That's Woodlawn Entertainment four six nine five four five zero seven nine two. We're back to live action here in the William Nick Center. Panthers will be traveling left in front of their bench this half. Thirty six, thirty one. Holmes has it. She travels. Belton gets it. Puts it ah uh, in and out. No good. Waddle will get it. And we go back the other way. Man, that ball's been going in and out on both ends. Soders in the corner looking down low. Waddle has it. Turns, puts it off the glass. Man, Waddle is hot. Belton has got to be careful. Belton with three fouls or Holmes with three fouls. Let's see. That's right. They gave that one over to Holmes to give her three. Belton has two fouls. Thirty-two. Lewis is going to pick up another foul for the Panthers. Can't keep my glasses on straight here, Charles. That one's on the floor. So the Panthers, the Tigers, will have a fresh twenty out of bounds. Quick shot, jumper. That time from Harmon, and Harmon puts it in. Soders takes it baseline. Stops, spots, gets it over to Waddle. Waddle getting on the ground. There's a foul on the floor. And it'll stay on our end with 9.02 left to play here in the first half. Personal foul, TSU. Who are they giving that one to? Let's see. Turner? Did, he, did they say Turner? Well, Turner has two. Let's see. Does Turner have two in the first? Oh, well. We'll get to it in a second. Soders back up top now to Lewis. Waddle is calling for it to give it back up top to Payne. 38 33. The Panthers up by five. Here we come in the corner. Soders for three. Side of the iron. No good. The backboard three point shot, man, would have been good. And we're going back to you. Oh, travel and travel. Yeah, double dribble. There, right side, trying to. Get a handle on it was night, and we go back the other way. Payne will have it right side, dumps it to Lewis at the elbow. Lewis to work on night. Now they give it back up top to Payne. Payne comes right side, so does brings it around the left. Ten seconds. A waddle. Trying to feed it into Waddle. Belton's got those long, long arms. And they give it to Belton there on the bike block. She puts it back up a little too hard, and Soders goes back with it. But Belton is longer than uh, the Panthers think. She's got some really long arms. Right side. Can't see. <laughs> Between you and Pew and our Hutchinson will come back out. 
for the Panthers. Soders will take a break, and Phillips will check in for Texas Southern. Soders at the line with 747. Still a five point edge, folks. 38 to 35. The Panthers on top. Soders shooting two. The first shot is away. It's in and good. Panthers got to be, let's check the stats here. Got to be 11 for 12 or 13. Let's see. Free throws. The Panthers are in the second half, one of three for the game. Panthers 10 of 13. Mad scramble on the board. Soder gets it. Roberson chases it down, keeps it on our end. Great move, double pump, off the glass, no good. Waddle gets it, puts it back up for two. 7.20 left to play, 41-33 to score. The Panthers now trying to put a little cushion in front of that lead. Panthers now with an eight-point lead. Galban will check back in for Texas Southern. Belton gets it in, and here we come back down the other way. Galban at the top of the key, brings it left side, cut off by Hutchinson. They give it over. Oh, man. Oh, that's all ball. Come on, baby. They give that one to Payne. Payne was nowhere around. Where's the replay here? Now, here comes Galban on the left side. Payne is way away from her, and they give that one. To, what in the world was that? They must have got away if they, if they given it. If they gave it to 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 Payne, that should have been on the floor. If you look at the replay, that should have been on the floor if they would have given that to Payne. Hutchinson is the is the culprit. Well, we already seen the replay a couple of times, but I don't know. Hits the front of the iron, no good. Coming down with it and putting it back up. Ah, uh, is. Turner and Turner has it knocked out. Turner man with some strong rebound in there. And Maya Williams will check back in for the Panthers. Hmm. Here comes Williams. Waddle will take a break. Lewis will take a break. And Smith will come back in with Williams. And Williams. A menacing force out there. Williams gets it now left side. Williams doing a good job of playing the passing lane. Phillips wants it, and the uh, Tigers want a time out here in the William Nick Center, folks. 6.43 left to play in the third quarter, folks. The Panthers. On top of the Tigers, 41 to 36. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. This here's a champ for all the fellas. Try to do what those ladies tell us. Get shot down because you're overzealous. Play hard to get females, get jealous. Okay, smarty, go to a party. Girls are scantily clad, are showing body. A chick walks by, you wish she could sex her, but you're standing on the wall like you was pointing. So much you really split your pants. A girl starts walking, guys start gawking, sits down next to you and starts talking. Says she wanna dance cause she likes the groove. So come on, fat so and just bust the move. Well, we're watching the replay, folks, to try to determine who the foul was on. Now there's Turner, there's Waddle and Roberson behind there. The battle of the, uh, is that the battle of the tumblers? Is it, would that, would that's what that would be, Mia? They're tumbling, they're the aerobatics, the gymnastics. Uh, 
Oh, wow. You got to watch this, folks. Let's turn it around and check it out. Let's see. Where are the cheerleaders? Still waiting. We sure did. Still waiting for a, a decision here from the officials. Okay, now watch. If you're looking, folks, here's the replay. Turner's at the line. Well, let's see. The Panthers ready to, ready to get this one back. Okay, here it is. Here we go down the right side. There's uh, Hutchinson trying to get it, and Turner and Hutchinson trying to get it done. And here come... Uh, Always a lot of fun here in the William Nick Center, folks. Want to send a shout out? Hey, Samaya Brooks, big time Brooks. Well, you bring yourself right on over here, big time. I'm on, just making it. Samaya, big time Brooks, did it for uh, two SWAC teams. She's a super duper star. Thank you for checking in. They're gonna give it to the Panthers with 6:43 left to play in the third. The Purview will have the ball. Sorry about that. James didn't know you were, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, at least I didn't lie. <laughs> Here we go, back right side with it. Smith stops at the free throw line, puts it up. No good. Soders tries to get it, and yeah, that one should be on Tone Turner. Both of them had it. Williams, who's a big meanie. Here we go, watch this one. Here comes Jalen Smith there. Over to the free throw line. She'll shoot it up. Williams with good position there, folks. If you see it, Williams pushes off and gets it. And, uh, yeah, Turner kind of kind of booted Williams out of the way. Hutchinson comes off. And is that Soders that checked in? Soders, yeah, Soders checked in. Hutch, man, playing some, some great basketball, folks. I'm coming to New Orleans and get me a pole boy. Here we go. Quick pass up top. Payne thought about shooting it from the elbow. Now we'll get it back out to Maya Williams. Williams can't put it back down on the floor, and they'll give it over now to Payne. Payne looking left side. Gives it up now to Smith at the elbow. She'll just turn around and shoot it. Knew that one was gone when she shot it. And now the Panthers giving it back over to the Tigers. Oh, and Smith with the reach on the floor. That's going to be three team fouls. And Jerome, that's that's an I'm tired foul. Here comes Lewis back in for the Panthers. Desiree Lewis, the grad student from Converse, Texas, doing it for Coach Pugh. Belton. Puts it in and one. And Lewis comes in and gets the fires at Lewis and one. And on Soders? How's that one on Soders? She's, Soders is way away from the ball. Wow. Belton at the line. To shoot some free throws, folks. Don't forget, coming up on Monday, it's going to be even hotter in the dome. Belton just throws up a wing in the prayer to cut the deficit to one. Roberson is going to get up off the bench. Now here comes Lewis. The Panthers are on a scoring drought here. Lewis has it blocked away by Belton, and now we're going back the other way, and the Panthers seem like deer in headlights. Here we go. Holmes has it. Spins, finds an opening in the baseline, puts it up off the glass. It's no good, and it's going out on Soders, and D. 
The Panthers will get it back. Went out on one of the Tigers. Waddle will check in with Soders. Will check out with Williams. 5:15 left to play. Turner will check back in and give Belton a well-deserved rest. Belton, six of 12, leading all uh, well, second in scoring for the Tigers. Belton with uh, nine rebounds, though. She's doing it on the boards, and now Bowen will get it. Boyd brings it right side, picks up the ball. No cardinal mistake. Throws it away. Bowen tries to get it back, and she does. Makes up for it. But now here come the Panthers out to. What's call? Well, they're going back down. Does she step on the line? Well, the official saying she stepped on the line. What? Why would they call it when she gets across the time? Well, anyway. 5.02 left to play on one point inch. 41 40. Holmes brings it around the left side. Turner loses it, and Roberson gets it, and Turner has to grab her on the fast break. That's going to be five team fouls for the Tigers, and we'll take the long walk. We're in the one and one. I tell you, it's really refreshing to be able to. Uh, Start training students from the ground up. We've got a lot of wonderful students here who do just such a great job for us. We want to send a shout out to the Hughes family, Hanaya Hughes, who is one of our videographers. She can't hear me. I'm just trying to get her attention. But Hanaya Hughes, a psychology major from Oakland, California. There she is smiling. I thought she'd hear me now. Sending out a shout out to the Hughes family. She's a superstar, so we have to mention her. Back to live action. Payne gets the rebound. Brings it back out. 446 left to play. Up top with it. Bowen now. The Panthers with a fresh one. Here's oh, Payne thought about the three-pointer. The step back. Fade away. Oh man, that's a nasty shot when she hits it. Here comes Morris, who should have given it up. And Skeeter says he can't believe it. Bowen now on the fast break. Brings it back right side. And she throws it away. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a turn of events. Bowen throws it away, and then Turner throws it away, and people are just, like, throwing stuff away here, folks. Gee whiz. Somebody needs to clean this up. We've got to find somebody. To get it done, let's see if we can't find a clean up ball on the show, right? 442 left to play. We'll be right back. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Welcome back to the William Nick Center, folks. 42-40. The Panthers only up by two. Golly gee, Willikers, we we gotta keep our head in the game at the line, shooting free throws. It's gonna be Deja Holmes, the junior from Fresno, California. Holmes 
two of five from the charity stripe coming into this shot hits the first one. Did she hit it or miss it? She missed the first one. Okay, 42. Missed it just a little bit. There we go. You can't miss anything a little bit. Payne with it now gets it to Lewis now to Bowen, and we've got to get it across the timeline. We do. Bowen brings it to the middle of the court. Left side, Lewis steps back, looks for Bowen, and Boyd now over to Jada. And Jada Bowen gets it out over to Jada Robinson. And Robinson will put it up for two, and the Panthers with some good defense. And the Tigers almost lose it. The Panthers with that menacing trap. There they go again. Good job of breaking out of the trap was a Marcy Quiller, the freshman from Pflugerville, Texas, and Robertson committing a foul, going after it. As Claiborne, Tatiana Claiborne, will go to the line to shoot free throws. Is that 32? There you go. Okay, 32. One is 32. I got it now. And J. Rob going for the for the shot, puts it in. First shot is away. It's good. 42-44. Second shot is away. It kind of rolls in for her. And checking in for the Tigers is going to be Naya Harmon. Well, we're going to wait. What's going on? And lane violation? What's what, what's happening? They're going to call a foul on Lewis. You know, I. That one official sure is calling a lot of calls on the Panthers. You know? Seems to be a little attitudinal, too, doesn't she? I'm just saying. Well, Morris puts it up and hits the free throw. That'll keep a minute. Tied at 44. I think the Panthers have the resilience, though, down the stretch. Second shot is away. Nice looking shot from Morris on the free throw line. Amani Morris, the freshman from Cedar Hills, Texas. Now the Tigers up by one, take their first lead of the game. Well, the first lead since the first points of the, of the game. Went up by two early. Panthers hadn't looked back, but have caught caught them in the rearview mirror right on their heels. Now they take it over. <laughs> Here we go, left side. Oh, off the glass, no good. Traveling violation. Ah, thank you, ma'am. The officials, uh-huh. Now I can tell it. Ashley Birch, Kara Corsett, and umpire two, Chantel Bogus. Soders back in now for the pan. Bowen with some good minutes. We'll come and take a seat. Hadn't seen Jayla Smith. Soders kicks it back out with three minutes left to play. Now the pain. Payne's been quiet. Here comes Payne off the glass. Well. Maybe it's time for her to wake up. Payne leading all scores uh, with 15 points. Waddle picking up the foul on Turner. And Waddle will go to the charity strike. I want to send a shout out to Noah, Noah Simmons, who's doing a great job over there on the camera. We we'll have to put him on our team, guys. Uh, Crenshaw is probably going to be the boss of this group. 
And I'm just going to be the mouth. Okay, we'll just do what James says. Here we go. Roberson comes down. Well, Smith comes down with it and gives it to Roberson. Here comes Payne down to Waddle. Waddle puts it up off the glass. Where's the foul? Okay, yeah, there we go. That one goes out of bounds. I was uh, about to say, folks. Folks, we want to thank you for uh, watching on uh, all of our platforms. Raymond Holly's platform, G Boom, and that 1876 group is streaming along with us. We want to thank you guys for all of your views. Go back and watch them as many times as you want. Payne looking for Waddle. Oh, Payne with one turnover the whole game. Payne. Right side. Oh, Waddle throws it away. Wide open was Marcy Quiller and Bowen dropping out of trouble down to Payne. Oh, Payne to Waddle. First half! And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. 48 46. Man, Robertson with some great ball handling, some great dribbling. Dribbled out of trouble, kept the Panthers alive, and we're on top. Here we go, left side. Quiller, pardon me, that's uh, Phillips, not about the three-point shot. Gives it back out now to Galbon. Galbon right side. Gives it over now to Naya Harmon. Harmon stopped at the free throw line. She can't go anywhere. Pain on her. They throw it away. On the ground. And a push. What? Oh, wait a minute. I know she's not calling the foul. Oh, wow. Golly. What in the world? <laughs> That is horrible. That's now that's a horrible call. Will I get fined for it? Woodlawn will pay for it. Okay. That no I'll just teasing. <laughs> wow. What a soft call. A real soft call. She must have been playing this way. Horrible. Now here it is, folks. Look at it. Here's the here's the contact. Right here. Payne comes around. Uh, well, yeah, that was a foul. I stand corrected. That that was a foul. <laughs> you won't say that, James. James is saying, I'm going to let him stick his foot all the way in his mouth, all the way up to the ankle. Smith kicks it back in the corner. Soders. And they call Smith with the charge. You see? She whiz. Wow. The Panthers with the full court press. The Tigers can't handle it. Payne steals it away. Payne, left side. Lewis on the elbow. Gets it back to Payne down to 17 seconds. A minute left here in the third quarter. Payne. With a double pump and a foul away from the ball. Are they going to call one on on 12? Is it one, two? Well, that one's going to go on Deja Holmes. Did she say a shooting two or two? What's going on? Okay, the foul is going to be on Harmon. And it's going to be a two-shot foul. The Panthers in the bonus. Both teams actually in the bonus with five. So there will be two shots here. For Payne. Shot is the way it's good. Payne, very good from the fair charity strike. Payne came in leading all free throw shooters. For the Panthers with a 92% free throw shooting average before tonight. She's only missed two all year. Payne, that's absolutely. And uh, I think uh, Crystal, Erica, me is going to be all right. She's learning the game. Here we go now on the left side. Caught. There was Marcy Quiller. Quiller gets it back with some fancy ball movement. Back up top, right side. Holmes thought about the three pointer. Almost catches Payne. Crossover now brings it to the middle. And the shooting foul on Payne, they were going to call it 44. And that's going to be away from the ball. That's going to be uh, 
Amari Williams away from the ball, trying to get position. Oh, yeah, really pushes, <laughs> really pushes Mar <laughs> Morris in the back. And Morris kind of like she weighs about a buck oh five, and she just uh, moved her out of the way. Morris, very, very long and wiry. Got a good, good future there for Texas Southern. And the same official, Chantel Bogus, umpire too, is going back. We're going to take a look at something, folks. We're going to take a, take a look at something here. Both teams are going to the sideline. While we got a moment, folks, don't forget exciting men's action coming your way, Texas Southern. Coming to town, it should be a real good one. The Tigers of Texas Southern at the top of the conference is always a cantankerous cat fight between these two teams the Tigers five and three in the swag the Panthers three and four so the Panthers get a chance to go up in the standings if they can win here and take their record to four and four it's a three-way tie for fourth place so the Panthers let's see well Morris will be shooting and there'll be call for the foul. Let's see here. We're going to go to the swag here. Let's see if we can check out some scores. Morris is going to go to the line and shoot free throw. She was pushed from behind by Williams there. That was a, was a good one. Morris, only one trip to the charity stripe all year, folks. One of two. And she's shooting 50%. Set first shot is away, it's no good. Thirty-seven seconds left to play in the third. The Panthers up by three now. She'll hit the second one. 50-47 the score. Here's a couple of finals. Alabama State defeated Bethune Cookman 56 to 53. Southern a winner over Alcorn 61-58. And Florida AM loses to Alabama AM by two. 69-71. Shot is away. It's no good. The Panthers will keep it. On their side, checking in for the pass is going to be Jada Belton. Miller will get a break. Bowen in uh, Williams. Easy one off the bucket. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Stays on the Panther side. And Williams has got to get some position there. Get big at the bottom and hit those shots. Golly gee. You got to hit those. 24 seconds left to play here in the first half. No, pardon me, in the third quarter, Charles. Get it right. 24 left to play in the third quarter. They give it to Williams. Williams can't hold on to it. And Hutchinson comes in for Soders for a break. And Miller comes back in to give Belton a break in these last 23 seconds down on our side. We don't want any silly fouls. Here come the Panthers taking it out. All the way up top now to Williams. Williams into the hands of Smith back out to Hutchinson. Hutchinson coming right side. Roberson with the crossover brings it right down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Now down low to Williams off the glass. Yes for two. And Williams puts it in for two point and that's going to do it for the third quarter ladies and gentlemen the Panthers 52 to 47 up by five with a quarter to go stick around we'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View and University Panthers Sports Network 
they might say hi and I might say hey. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and changemakers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Panther Nation, this is your athletic director, Anton Gaughan. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the importance of giving. Whether your gift is big or small, it's important to our student athlete success. Your donation will help us increase our Panther experience for our student athletes. It will increase our competitive excellence as well as our academic excellence. So please join me in visiting pvpanthers.com and click on the Give tab because this is where champions are built. Thank you. Welcome back to the William Nick Center, ladies and gentlemen. 52-47, Charles Porter coming to you courtside with Mia Greer. Still haven't come up with your nickname yet, Mia, but it's uh, coming here pretty soon. The Panthers up 5-52-47, 10 minutes left to play. Kind of a long game here. Panthers are getting ready to take it out on the other side. Still waiting on, uh, had to get some more toner. Ten minutes. Here we go, man. Our social media team is off the chain for Prairie View. Just go over on our webpage. You'll see all kinds of posts, all types of pictures, videos, the whole nine yards. Our social media team is fantastic. And so are you. Fantastic, that is. Our fans who listen to us daily or gamely. Is that a word, uh, Mia, gamely? They listen to every game, so it's not daily. Can we say gamely? Mm, yeah. Okay, we'll say that. That will be just for us. 9.50 left to play in this one. 52-47. Here we come back right side. Tatiana Claiborne inserted at the point. And, oh, a foul. Oh, wow. Golly G. Willikers. Soders. Oh, my. Boy, I tell you, this is a feather. When I say feather, that touches some, call some really light fouls. Golly. Waddle will check in and give Soders a break. I mean, uh, Lewis a break. Gee whiz. Is this tennis? I'm just playing. Well, tennis is, is tennis a contact? No, tennis is a non-contact sport. Where you're hitting a ball, that's contact. But you're not hitting a person. Okay, there you go, Bill. 9.30 left to play, 52-49, it'll hit those. Whenever you want. It's up to you. Whenever you can. I know it's a lot of recruits. Then it's going to be AD, right? Well, anytime after that, I mean, or halftime, or sorry, folks, just trying to trying to get our interviews together. Coach uh, Bubba McDowell is going to come on and talk with us a little bit, and I apologize for, for that lull in the action there. 54-49. The Panthers will get the ball on the turnover. When when the boss talks, I got to listen, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. James didn't have on headsets. He can't he can't hear my puns. Darn. I can really talk about it now, right? <laughs> 858 left to play. The Panthers will continue. I get to see these guys again on Monday as Pine Bluff comes to town. Lewis loses the ball out of bounds. Golly G, 54-49. Oh wow, I've never seen that. Here we go. Left side. Wide open for two was Phillips. Phillips can't find anything and they're going to call a foul away from the ball on Keisha Knight with the push. That's the first foul that that official was called on purview. Yeah, I, I, I know. Wow. 
Panther ball. Maya Williams will have it and bring it up now. 54-49. The Panthers need to get some separation here. Come on, girls. Ladies, let's get to going here. Right side. Smith has it. Tried to look it for Roberson. No, they want it in Payne's hands. Payne has everybody scared over there. They throw it down low to Waddle. Waddle. Head turner on her hip. And just kind of threw it away. Williams. And Jada Bowen now will check back in. Roberson almost got that one. Waddle goes to the right side, cuts off Turner. In the corner, left side there. Right side is Phillips. Or pardon me, Harmon. Holmes comes right side, works on Roberson. No good. Here comes Jada Bowen with the rebound. Bowen's going to slow it up. Pew says, hold up, wait a minute, get some players in it and slow it down. Smith, right side, elbow, thought about it, now takes it. Side of the iron, no good. Waddle can't get the long rebound. Roberson almost knocks it away, and now the Tigers will have it. Here comes Tatiana Claiborne in the corner for a wide open look, man. Golly G. Willikers wide open there with Phillips. She hit the, missed everything, and it goes out of bounds. Off the Panthers. Soders will come back in. Roberson with some quality minutes here in the night's contest. Coach uh, Danny Evans will come over after the game. If, if not, uh, and shots away, it's good. Wow. Easy, easy bucket. Wow. Bowen, right side, inside, Tatiana Claiborne all over Smith. That'll be three team fouls for the Tigers. Two more were shooting the bonus. Here comes Belton up off the bench for Texas Southern. Belton playing with four fouls. I go right into her. Belton and Turner both have four fouls for Texas Southern. I'm going right at Belton. Waddle gets her on her hip. Waddle puts it up from five. Yeah. Belton is not going to be able to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Belton's not going to be able to do a lot because Belton's on with four fouls. So she's got to be very careful. I go right at her every time. Here we go. Right side. Belton looking for it. Waddle on her. And they throw it away because Skeeter's right there. Coach, get back some, Coach. Coach is right there in the play. She's in the way. It went off of the coach's hand. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> Galvan will check back in for the Tigers. And here comes Bowen. Bowen will have it and bring it right down, right side. Seven minutes left to play here. Smith bringing it left. Smith working, turning, twisting from five. Yeah. Puts it off the glass. Now that's what we need to open up these floodgates. Payne needs a big three-pointer. We'll get uh, some stealing here. And we'll be okay. Right side turn wide open, Belton. Good shot. Oh, Belton blows it. And the Tigers get it back. But Belton blew the easy layup. They throw it in the corner. Holmes stop it. Oh, great move by Holmes. Holmes right side to Belton. Belton off the glass for two. Good play. Nice play there by the Tigers. 6.22 left to play. 58-53 the score. Bowen, left side, Smith has it. Smith to work on Turner. Comes back right side. Four seconds on the shot clock. We've got to do something with it. Bowen's got to shoot it. Bowen shoots it up. Hits the side. Yeah, hits the backboard and two. And Soders gets it and puts it back up. It hits the side of the iron in the backboard. Everybody froze, but the Panthers stayed heads up and put it back off the glass now. 60-53, a seven-point edge. Holmes to Turner, cut off by Smith. She hits it for two. Bowen, left side to Payne. Payne coming right, steps back, looks for Waddle. Waddle into Smith. Smith turning, twisting with a double pump. Off the glass and one, yeah! 
That's what I'm talking about. And Pew. Looks like the Panthers are starting to gather lather. Mass substitutions. Smith will come. Pardon me, Williams will come back in. Claiborne and Miller will come back in for Texas Southern. Smith will go to the charity stripe for free throws. Smith to complete the three-point play. I'm going to wait until she shoots it. And she's 100% three of three for the charity strike. Five eleven left. Five eleven left to play. 63-55 to score. Claiborne to Galbon. Galbon loses it. Double dribbles, no call. Galbon back out, right side. Air ball there from Harmon and Belton. With the turnaround, Marcy Quiller. It's going to come out. It's going to be a timeout, ladies and gentlemen, here on the floor of the Panthers of Prairie View and M University. Folks, on top of the Tigers of Texas Southern, 63 to 55 with five minutes left to play. Stick around. We'll be back with more. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Hey, John. What made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> Welcome back to the William Nix Center. <laughs> Charles Porter, along with uh, the Woodlawn Production Crew. <laughs> I tell you, we're going to get it done, baby, one way or another. Stin shots out uh, to Bailey Anderson. She's a kinesiology major and a basketball manager for Prairie View Indian University. Wonderful young lady. want to send a shout out to her parents who are watching in Houston, Texas. Also, uh, to Coria Anderson now. Now, Latanya and Donna. When I get down to Dallas, I want to go to Sweetie Pies and, and get something to eat. Also, Mia Bradley from Greenville, Mississippi. I think, is it Shonda? Is that your mama, Shonda? Uh, Mia Bradley? Can't read your writing. I think it's Shonda uh, in Mississippi. Evansville, Evangrill. Oh, Greenville. That's right, Greenville, Mississippi. Boy, I thought I had poor handwriting. Here we go back the other way now, 63-57. The Panthers up by six with five left to play here in the William Nix Center. I want to send a shout-out to Clarence Wolf, Donald Green, and my main man, legendary Greg Burks. Here we go, left side now, up top. Roberson has it back over the paint on the wing, down low. Oh, my goodness, and Williams should have stayed on the block. Williams tried to spin out and get open. And the Panthers throw it away. Payne putting it right where it needed to be, but she wasn't ready for it. Claiborne brings it left side to work on Payne. Throws it in the corner on the block to Belton. Belton working on Williams. Can't find the hole. Williams with a big rebound. Payne takes it and goes back the other way. Here comes Payne. She'll slow it down cross court. Left side. Soders with a running jump. Puts it. Oh, man. Belton with those long arms. You've got to be <laughs> careful. She's got some really long arms. Belton in trouble. Payne steals it away. Saves it in and slips and falls. And Payne 
with a reset, man. Golly gee, Wilkins Payne, really quick and Payne getting up off the ground sobs. He's like, hey, come pick me up. What y'all doing? Exactly, people running. We're gonna run help her up. And uh, I have never seen Pew. They wanted a lane violation on the Tigers. And Pew. Well, Bogus explaining it to Payne. Oh, pardon me, to, to, to Pew. Bogus kind of had some makeup calls there, so we, we're not mad at her anymore. <laughs> but Bogus getting up. Getting the call. The, what's going on? The, the Tigers are going to have it or the Panthers? What's going on? Are we going to watch it? Okay, 63-57. The Tigers will have it. Claiborne across the timeline. Works on Williams. Misses everything. And coming down with it is Soders with another huge rebound. First Soders, here comes Payne. Coast to coast. Oh! Belton got mostly ball on that one. She got her with some body. That's good defense by Jada Belton. And that's going to be it for Belton. That ought to be five on Belton. And she ought to be out of there. Belton and Turner had five apiece. And a timeout for Pew. And Pew wants to know why and why. Well, 345 left to play. Uh, 30 second timeout. We'll take a quick one with him and come back with more. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. We're back live here in, oops, the William Nick Center. My bad. The first time I, you know, I'm getting in, into the game there, and I was just <laughs> kind of <laughs> nothing but the dog chasing the cat there with uh, George Clinton. My bad. Roberson with a teardrop from the bottom, and from behind, Williams gets fouled, and Williams will go to the charity stripe. We talked about Williams last weekend, or last Saturday, Evans and I did, Coach Danny Evans, and we talked about her soft touch and her ability to shoot free throws. So we're going to see if we gave her her kudos early or not. And Belton should be out of there. That should be five on Belton. Morris will come in for Belton, but Belton played a really, really, really good game. By far their best player, or at least of what I've seen from this game. Shoot two is Amari Williams. Shot is up. That's good. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you, Williams, first trip to the charity strike. Williams with six rebounds for the Panthers. Second shot is away. It's good. 50%. From the charity stripes, the Panthers 14 of 18 to shoot 78%. Claiborne thought she traveled. Turner takes it left side, loses it, gets it back. Now, oh, great move, puts it off the glass. Great move by Turner. Jordan Turner, the junior from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, on that baseline. Sodas would have cut her off, and she'll get back up here. Now, three minutes. Getting down to three minutes left to play. 65-59, Smith throws it down low to Williams. Williams with the catch and turnaround shoot. Morris gets the foul. Bogus now really starting to call it both ways now. She must have heard me telepathically. She says, oh, I better call something the other way. Uh, 258 left to play. Here comes Lewis. Smith will take a seat, sending shout-out to Miramar, Florida, to the family. 
And Gerald Smith, I asked, I said, do your, do, do, do your people watch again? Oh, yes, sir, they be listening. They, they, they listen. So I want to send a shout out to her family. I did, Miramore. I tell you, we, we're so fortunate to have her. Maybe she can stay one more year. Maybe we can get them one more year. I'm looking forward to meeting the family on senior night. Put a face with all the names. Second shot is away. And man, Williams can shoot free throws. Left side with it. Up top, here comes Turner. Turner looking back, gives it over to Claiborne. Now to Holmes. Down low, Holmes takes the baseline, steps back, shoots it up for three. Oh, it looked good. But Payne will get the rebound, and here we go back the other way. Payne to Soders. Soders wide open and puts it up off the glass. Easy peasy for two. 230 left to play. The Panthers running away with it now, folks. It's 10. The lead is 10. Claiborne kicks it back left side. Be careful, though. This team can play. Turner from the elbow puts it in for two. We got to get back and play some defense. Oh. Well, Count our chickens before they hatch. Eight point edge, Payne will get it. We're going to work the clock here. Down to 205, nearing crunch time, folks. Soders, or pardon me, Lewis, we're in crunch time now. Two minutes left to play. Lewis will back it out. Down to 13 seconds on the shot clock to get it down to Williams. Williams off the glass for two. Williams getting fired up now. Yeah. Six points. And Morris not really happy about Williams. And Morris is going to have to come out of there because Morris and Williams Morris and Williams kind of getting ready to go at it. And I don't know if uh, I don't know if Williams is the technical foul on number 11. And Williams can shoot free throws. Let's look at the replay here. I tell you, these guys are right on it. And we'll tell you exactly what happened. The Panthers were on a break. Oh, they're looking at it. Okay. So we're still here. They're looking at the uh, technical file. And we're going to see. Well, they're checking to look to see what, what happened. Well, here comes the replay. They're, 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 they're looking at the replay. We can't do it on both screens, folks. So we'll we'll sit here and watch. Don't forget, coming up, uh, we're going to talk with the athletic director, Mr. Anton Goff, at the break about the National Signing Day. We're also are going to talk, uh, hopefully sometime uh, this afternoon, Bubba McDowell has got some recruits in for the TSU PB game. Uh, and we will talk with who else? We've got another person scheduled uh, to talk. We'll see. Miss Thurston has uh, got it all knotted up. Panthers uh, having a good time here in the William Nick Center here on the campus of Prairie View a &M. Well, folks, exciting men's action coming your way. Here as we get ready for game two, Texas Southern coming in five and three. And the Panthers, three and four. So uh, a lot of ramifications on this one, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, we get ready. They're still looking at it. Okay, what is going to be the call here? James, we'll, we'll wait and see. They're discussing it. Uh, a technical foul was called on Morris, number 11, Amani Morris, the freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas. I'm just going to be honest, folks, you know. Um, not, I, I'm, I'm not going to say she was taunting her, but uh, she was definitely uh, kind of sort her in her face, how you say it. You know, kind of get a little, a little strong here at Prairie View on TSU TV weekend. Want to send a shout-out uh, again to our friends over at uh, Uncle Boo's Catfish. And here comes, uh, folks, uh, softball season coming up. I am so excited about softball season. First and second team has three players on the first and second team leading the way, Caitlin Massey and Viviana Figueroa, along with uh, Go Get It Nunez, Mia Go Get It Nunez on the first team. 
On the second team, Junior Aaron Talley, how did that happen? Destiny Smith, how did that happen? And Jer Jericho Rosas, how do they how are they on second team? Do I got to admit? First team, second team? Yeah. How do I get them on on it? Also, congratulations to Coach Bubba McDowell, man. I just got to get these guys here are holding. Bubba McDowell, uh, the head coach selection for the All-State HBCU Legacy Bowl. It's kind of an all-star game uh, for the HBCU games, and we're waiting to see what they're going to say. But, man, I tell you, boy, Woodlawn Entertainment, if y'all want y'all stuff done right, <laughs> if, you want it, if you want it to look good, <laughs> call my man at Woodlawn Entertainment. James Kurtzall, let me give you the, the website, www.woodlawnentertainment, LLC, at Woodlawn Entertainment, LLC. The phone number there, you can call 469-545-0792. Oh, 0792. I showed them all Louisiana roots that time, did the 07. Yeah. <laughs> 07, Charles. 0792, uh, man. Gee whiz, I'm just so impressed. I, I, Miss Thurston, golly gee willikers. Thank you so much for really going to get some people to know what they're doing. Also, want to send a shout out to Uncle Boo. Now, Uncle Boo has a catfish corner. They got all kind of delicious treats. So after the game, when you come into the game, folks, after the game, going to the game, go on over to Catfish Corner. We're going to check them out. My frat brother, Lonzel Banks, is here. We we do a little catering ourselves. So uh, touche, or better yet, on guard, because the bros are coming. But we're going to check it out today for sure. Uncle Boo's um, Catfish Corner, I think they're right there by Sandra Bland, on Sandra Bland Parkway by the park. Okay, what's going on? Let's see. Rick, we don't want to know about the concession stands. We want to know about the call. But uh, right there up there to the right, if you're leaving campus, they're going to be up there to the right. Got catfish shrimp. But we're going to go try it out. Uh, Miss Porter and I, well, we're going to go check it out this evening along with the Bankses. I just sent a shout out to your mama and your grandmother. Like she told, I love the Condria. She is so sweet. I tell you, you did a good job, uh, mama and grandmother, on this young lady. I tell you, she's going to be somebody's fantastic wife. She is wifey material. I tell uh oh, I tell you. Wonderful, wonderful person. Ryan Payne is going to shoot the... Okay, there's an unsportsmanlike conduct technical foul. Uh, Ryan Payne is going to shoot it. I'm going to have to get Rick over here to find out what's going on. Shout out to the way it's good. Ryan Payne. If anybody you want shooting free throws, you want either Ryan Payne or Mia Greer shooting free throws for you. I mean, uh, Ryan Payne shooting free throws for you. Second shot away. So she's going to shoot those two free throws for an unsportsmanlike. The Panthers get the ball back. And now, uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's a double technical. So... Soders and Morris. Did they call that one on Soders? Harmon shooting the free throws for the Tigers. Or the technical shots for the Tigers. Harmon pretty good, 15 to 20. Coming into tonight. Shoot 75%. Today, she's uh, perfect from the charity stripe. Before they steal it away from the Panthers. Good block by Waddle. Waddle putting the big paw up there with a minute 44 seconds left to play. The Panthers still up by 10 and knocked out of bounds by Waddle. And the Panthers will have to stay on defense down here on there on the other end. Bowen. They give it to Holmes for three. She throws it up. Oh, and it goes off on Soders. Out of bounds. And another fresh 24. Smith has got to check in. Down a minute and 44 seconds left to play. We're going to get ready to talk to our AD, Mr. Anton Goff. And talk to the football coach, Bubba McDowell, HBC Legacy Bowl head coach. Taking over for uh, Willie Simmons. We won. Here we go. And they throw it out of the bounds off the leg of, is that Bowen? 
Yeah, Bowen with some good defense. 140 left to play. Holmes has it knocked away by Bowen. And Roberson, rather, with the good defense. Not Bowen, Roberson with the great defense. Just to put the exclamation point on it, a minute 29 left to play. Smith will have it left side, back over to Roberson, back up top now, right side over to Waddle. Waddle to Payne, left side to Smith. Smith coming. Up top, Payne will have it. Payne coming right side. Payne looking left, taking it to the bottom of the back. Roberson for two! It's good! Oh, man, great job of Payne finding Roberson. That seven assists for Ryan Payne here tonight. Here comes Holmes. Holmes with an easy one off the glass. No good. Down to under a minute left to play. And the Panthers have it in, well, in control. Four assists for Ryan Payne, 19 points. 4-4 four, four from the free throw line, one of one from the charity stripe. Or oh, pardon me, from the three-point range. Just another all-around game from Ryan Payne, who has it now, puts it up with a double pump. Hits the front of the iron, no good. We're under a minute. And the Panthers are going to win this one and take their record to 5-3. The goal is 6-3. We got one more to get to where we need to be. Shot is away, it's good. The free throw is good. 75-64. Panthers up by 11. And a timeout here on the court. A timeout, folks. Here in the William Nick Center, folks. The Panthers in control here with 23 seconds left to play. 75-65 will take our final timeout. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. There's that dope enough, indeed. I paid the price to control the dice. I'm more precise to the point I'm nice. The music takes control. Welcome back to the William Nick Center. The computers froze up. Well, the, my computer froze up. <laughs> I don't know. Did you did you do it? Folks, uh, 23 seconds left to play. Here in the Nick Center and foul. On the Tigers, that one's on the floor. Payne is going to go back to the charity stripe to shoot free throws. Uh, Shamari Phillips is the culprit. Call that one on the floor. Payne. At the top of the key, the Panthers, uh, the goal was uh, six and three. We're right back in this one. First shot is the way it's good. 76 to 65 and 11 point lead. The Panthers led by grad student Ryan Payne from Los Angeles, California, down to 20 seconds left to play in this one. And a timeout on the court. Is there going to be a full timeout or a 30-second timeout here? We'll stay here doing this one, or what are we going to do? What's going on? 30-second timeout. Now a full timeout 
Stretched it. Oh, well, folks. Well, let's tell you about what's going on in the exciting Panther sports. The men's and women's tennis team will play tomorrow starting at 10 o'clock right here on the campus of Prairie View and them. Also, uh, the bowling team is in, uh, where are they in? Iberville, Louisiana? I forgot. The bowling team is playing, uh, is uh, in a match. Uh, I'll let you know here in just a, there we go. The bowling team is in, uh, is it D. Iberville or just Iberville? Is it, is it the Iberville? He's in the Iberville. That one over there. The Iberville, not the I, but the Iberville, Mississippi. That's right, Iberville, Mississippi. They're famous for something. Are there some catfish farms in Abbeville? What is it? That's Biloxi? Oh, that's Bil Oh, okay. Okay, Ab the Abbeville is Biloxi. They've got some great places with a lot of shiny machines in it that's very loud and a place where you can eat all you want. Did you ever go to the Popeye's Buffet in Biloxi? Here we go. Claiborne for three. Shoots it from way out. No way. And another foul on the floor. We'll take the wrong walk down. Soders will get it. Just delaying the inevitable 77-65. Man, it's going to be hot in here in the Panthers, in, 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 in the uh, Baby Dome, because the Panthers are starting to really get fired up here. Williams. Is going to check out, is going to get on the free throw line, rather. Maya Williams. Shot is away, it's good. Maya Williams from Cooper City, Florida. Second shot is away, it's good. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Now to seven seconds left to play in this one. Keep away. Turner puts it up off the glass. High, no good. And the Panthers take their record to five and three, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we wanted to be. We talked to Danny Evans five days ago. He said if the Panthers want to get back in this one, they've got to get to five and three. Stick around. We'll take a break. We'll come back and talk to Evans or Pew. Either one. We're going to, it's going to be good. And then we'll talk to our athletic director and get ready for more exciting Panther basketball as the Tigers are in town in Pantherland. Stick around. We'll be back with more. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. Panther Nation, this is your athletic director, Anton Gough. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the importance of giving. Whether your gift is big or small, it's important to our student-athlete success. Your donation will help us increase our Panther experience for our student-athletes. It will increase our competitive excellence as well as our academic excellence. So please join me in visiting pvpanthers.com and click on the Give tab because this is where champions are built. Thank you. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button. Because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. 
Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today.